Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is the start of the official move out vlog. Yay! So I'm moving out of my apartment in Boston today. Currently on Long Island. We're going to drive up to Boston now. My mom, my dad, and I, they're gonna help me move out, but I did hire movers to get all the heavy stuff, so we just have to finish packing. I feel like move out vlogs are pretty satisfying because I can show you guys like the empty apartment toward the end and just like taking stuff off the walls. I like watching them. I think they're pretty satisfying, so. And if you guys are new here, you should definitely subscribe because I'm moving to New York City in just a few weeks now. So that is gonna be a whole nother like ride, basically moving out of Boston and coming home for a little bit and then moving to New York City. So a lot of fun things are coming on my channel so you should definitely subscribe, follow me on Instagram to stay like totally caught up on stories and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take my dad's truck. Let's go downstairs. We're only going for one night. I do have like a lot of my stuff up there but honestly I moved a lot of it back here already and packed up just a lot of stuff so I really just have outfits for like active wear-ish outfits for moving out, a small thing of makeup, my laptop for the car ride, in this bag from Urban Outfitters, and then um, this is just my purse, phone, AirPods for the drive. It's like a five hour drive, four hour maybe. We're in the car, we have our, our snacks. Mom's here, move out another one. Should we count how many moves I've done? So we moved- 75. Yeah, move number 70. I moved to college. I moved out of call out of out of my freshman year like back here. Moved to the sorority house, out of the sorority house, Rona to and from Italy, study abroad. Junior year mark. So move in, move out. Then the house. My senior year moved in, moved out, then moved to Boston in and now out. Oh, depends you lost count? Many, it's like 13, but it depends if you like, are, are you counting? Like the in and in out? In and out, yeah. or are you just counting the in? Well, that's the problem in college. I moved a lot. Like some people get a house their sophomore year and stay in it, which would have been wise, but it was fun to like live all the places yeah. that I lived. All right, so we stopped on the way in um, to get some pizza because my parents found this place on uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives. Here we are. <laughs> Not for pizza, just for Italian food. But it actually says it here. Oh, yeah. yeah. The food network. Another sign. Shout out. So we're gonna wait for our stuff, and then we're gonna take it, um, even though outside dining, or inside and outside dining just opened here, but we're gonna take it back to my apartment and get going. My mask is from Allison Lovey, by the way. Okay, so we are back in the apartment. We are taking, my dad is taking things off the walls, basically hanging everything that is coming down from there. I thought that I got a lot done. I was pretty confident that I got a lot done, but apparently not according to the rents. So <laughs> we're figuring it out. <laughs> Getting it done. We took everything yeah. down. We're really making progress. Thanks to these guys. I'm saving this rug for my next apartment, but look how dirty it is in some spots. We'll just clean it. I'm going too fast. You're going too slow. We're at the store getting some moving supplies. I mean, this is 10 more boxes. I didn't even know that we needed this packing paper. All loaded up. The bedroom progress. The closet's really looking good, actually. I only have like one row of clothes left. I mean, it was definitely a luxury having this walk-in closet and I will most definitely miss it. You guys, I, before I opened up some PR packages that I got and I got this one from Red Bull and they sent me like every flavor. I didn't even know that they had some of these flavors like tangerine, whatever. You guys are probably like, wow, Brooke, you have a lot of drinks in your fridge. If you know, you know, I've had a lot of drinks in my fridge and um, I talked to the people downstairs and they said that I could just leave them in the fridge and when the maintenance people like clean out, they'll take and like we're gonna offer to the movers tomorrow and stuff like that because I know I have a lot of drinks in here and we don't want anything to go to waste. We're making significant progress. Yeah, everything is basically in boxes at this point. A lot of uh, stuff is up like the rug. We took down some furniture. Everything's ready to go, it's pretty crazy. I feel like all we're doing is eating, but we got some Greek food for dinner. We got some Greek salads with chicken on them, some spanakopita and some fries. What time is it now, like seven something? Yeah, seven sixteen. We still have a good bit of stuff to do, but we're making tremendous progress thanks to the dream team, so. All right, I'm doing these bins now. We really moved everything around, and now we're just in my room. We've removed the bed frame, so it's just the bed. Just organizing products now. Dream team. Basically what we did is this is all of the stuff that the movers are taking. I have a lot more stuff than I thought I did, but honestly considering that this is like the entire apartment packed up, sorry, we're watching Bachelor. 
uh, greatest of all times or whatever. And then this is the stuff that's coming back with us in the truck. We're going to be selling that table and a bunch of these chairs. The TV, I think we're gonna give to my brother so he can bring to college. And the mixer I gave to my mom. Yeah, Good stuff. I know. <sighs> Oh, you always sigh. So tired. I know, we are tired though. It's a, it's a sighful moment. I have to uh, edit up a video really quick. We'll do like just video edits, but. Brooke, how'd we do on your bed? Get on. Yeah, the, so I'm sleeping on the air mattress. People are probably like, what's your sleeping arrangement? Well, I'm sleeping on the air mattress in here and my parents are gonna sleep in my bed because that's just what, what you do. And then we're all taking turns showering, but my apartment's honestly plenty big for like three people. Even when I have people come visit or like I've had my parents stay here before and like we do the same thing where they just sleep in my room and then I just sleep. Um, either on the couch or on the air mattress. It's really nice. I'm wearing my comfy. Um, I saw this in the closet and I just wanted to throw it on. Got some dungeon. <laughs> Movers are here. I just told my parents, I feel like it smells like the first day I moved in. Do you guys attach smells to memories? I have my mask on, because when the movers get here, I'm gonna, we're gonna wear masks, um, of course. Yeah, I feel like it smells like, it's so weird, because it smells like, like crisp air conditioning, and I just remember that from when I first moved in. Actually, this is so crazy. Um, today is June 23rd, and June 23rd last year, I started my job, so it's been a full year. Um, obviously, I didn't make it very long, but um, pretty crazy that just the days lined up this way. Yeah, this apartment really is great. This was like such an amazing first apartment. Like I'm just so thankful that this was my first apartment. Like that is just, to me it's mind boggling like how nice it was. I don't know how else to say it, but it was just a really, I mean obviously this year, I'll sit down. <laughs> obviously this year had highs and lows, a lot of highs and lows, but overall this year was just such a year of like growth for me and like learning who I am. And I think that if it wasn't for this year, I wouldn't have been able to like move to New York and be like totally content and like, I don't know, like I feel like this was a character development year and then like <laughs> next year's gonna be my, um, what is that called? Like when the plot thickens, like <laughs> my big year. I always forget how big it is. We're just finishing up with the Good. So this is just like tools and stuff. And then in here, it's totally empty. <laughs> wow, it's so big. It's always like you, you see a space and you're like, it's so huge and then you fill with stuff and then it immediately looks so much smaller. Like my bedroom, I forgot how big it is, but it really is huge. Yeah, this is empty. We're just waiting for one of the moving guys to come back so we can pay, but uh, the apartment is totally empty. It's crazy. This is what it looks like when you're standing in the furthest corner. So this is the kitchen. Um, the living room was here. My kitchen, like dining setup was here. I had the mirror on the wall there. Laundry. Now I'm gonna show you guys what the apartment looks like empty just so that you can get a last look at it and honestly so that I can have it for the mems. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, so this is the bathroom right here. Oh, there's spackle on the wall too. My dad covered up where everything came off the walls, which uh, they told us to do, so that's why it looks like that. So we have the shower, we have the bathroom cabinets, me, um, everything like that. And then moving on to, you will keep walking forward and then it's the living rooms there and then the bedrooms here. So I showed you guys the empty bedroom, but it's carpet, um, huge windows in this apartment. But I think this was a huge downside of living here is just the view. This couldn't be worse, <laughs> unless it was a dumb. <laughs> this is the view in its fullness. This is a train, well, there's highways, <laughs> construction, a lot of construction, and I thought that the construction was kind of further along than it was when I first moved here. I thought that all these businesses and things like that would be open, but they're not um, yet, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. My view is uh, honestly terrible. The lighting's amazing, the view's terrible. And then we have the walk-in closet here. There's two walk-in closets in this unit, it was incredible. Um, it was just a really big apartment, honestly. I had a bunch of pictures on the wall here. My full-size mirror was here, um, but now it's empty. Wow, the echo is crazy when it's uh, empty. This is the laundry room. So thankful in my next apartment, I have a washer dryer too, so very thankful about that. And the space is just honestly really, really big. Um, it was really nice that I got to decorate it the way that I did. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna take a picture. I think of me like sitting on the counter and come about pick. It's 10.30, we finished so early. 
Today's actually the day of the New York primary, so I get to go home and vote. Very exciting. And it's only like a four hour drive. It's because it's really no traffic right now. So I think we'll go stopping at breakfast and then just drive home. So very efficient. We have the best people moving me out. But the movers were incredible. We used Aviv moving and we really, really enjoyed them. Like that was so professional. Everyone was wearing masks. Very efficient with the packing. They used a lot of like packing materials though, just to make sure that nothing breaks. Doing a long distance move. So we have, we're bringing home the gray sofa to give to my aunt. We're gonna clean this rug and I'm selling some other furniture that we're bringing home. So that's why we're bringing in my dad's truck. The rest is packed with the mover. It's really packed up in here. But you guys are the best. Yeah. We got the best moving crew ever. Okay guys, we're home now. I know I've said it like a million times in this video, but my family really is the dream team. Although I did hire the movers, like they helped me box everything up and like I truly like don't know how I'd do anything without them. It would just be so incredibly difficult to do those things without them. So I really do appreciate it. Thanks mom and dad, you're the best. You guys are probably like, where's your brother? Um, he is on his like senior prom trip. Um, down in New Jersey so that's where he's been so he didn't even have to be home like the days kind of overlapped which was nice I realized I never said where I lived and I moved out obviously I handed them the keys we shut the door everything basically I showed you guys the empty apartment tour and we left right after that I just took a picture of me sitting on the counter wanted to talk about I guess where I lived my apartment building that I lived in was called Zinc Apartments in Cambridge if you guys choose to live there you have to tell Aaron I say hi I will say the staff there is absolutely incredible like Maintenance, all that stuff, just a 10 out of 10 experience overall with all of those categories. Anytime I ever needed something, like I had like a clogged sink one time or like whatever, I had like a fire alarm thing that kept beeping and like they came literally that day to fix it. Absolutely incredible service. And obviously my apartment was gorgeous. It was definitely a little pricey, um, but I, I did really like it. The cons, obviously I showed you guys the construction outside. They're really building up that area. It's like the Cambridge crossing area of Boston. If you're not familiar, the stop of the T, which was right across from my apartment, was called Lechmere, and they're actually moving that stop. They like wrecked down that station and they're moving it literally so that it cuts through the parking lot of Zinc, or like it runs like parallel to the parking deck. Like I parked like right near that. So that's pretty crazy. I like got out just as all that was happening, but I was really looking forward to some of the stores and stuff because they're opening like a brewery and things like that near my apartment my old apartment, I guess, um, but all those didn't open in time for me to be there. A lot of it had to do with COVID, I'm sure like slowing construction, but if I lived there, I think like a year from now, like it would be like a sick place. Um, really liked it, like literally a 10 to 15 minute drive, no traffic to basically anywhere in Boston, like maximum 15 minutes anywhere in Boston. Even if I was going to, um, like Gretchen used to live in the South End, so I would like go visit her and that was like 15 minutes. Going to like any, workout class or whatever was like 10-15 minutes no big deal driving the city is not fun but having my car was definitely super convenient so that's where i lived a few people messaged me and like said that they found out where i lived which i guess in retrospect it is very easy to figure out like where youtubers live which is really scary honestly but you can kind of just figure it out by like things in the apartment like you can be like oh i that fridge i know they have that kind of fridge at this apartment complex or whatever like kind of creepy actually very creepy please don't do that but yeah so that's uh where i lived and definitely recommend i got a message a bunch of messages from you guys that are like students or just looking for like a move or whatever i would recommend living there just know that it's not really um in the center of boston like you have to drive everywhere or take the tea which is great too but it's definitely um a ways it's not necessarily like around the corner from everything i lived there because i worked in burlington so i would just like pop right on the highway there so that's why I live there, but I did really like it and it was a fun year. So yeah, <laughs> and now I'm sitting here on my floor. I actually got this package in the mail. I ordered some clothes from uh, Danielle Bernstein or We Wore What? We Wore What? Yeah, but she actually did a line with Macy's. She has another clothing line, but the prices are just so crazy. So I got some stuff from her Macy's line, which I'm so excited about. Um, I saw some bloggers wearing stuff like this. This is like a little scarf top so cute still expensive though um but honestly she's killing it so i got this i'm normally not into greens but i thought that this was very pretty this like green top with like white jeans or something i got this green dress which i thought would be just cute for like a casual summer night out or something you could even dress it down in sneakers and then i got this beautiful dress which i just need an occasion to wear too um probably won't find one for a minute but let me show you how beautiful yeah 
It is so cute. I really don't feel like trying on stuff right now because I'm super bloated. So probably gonna shower and stuff. I have to unpack this room because we moved a bunch of stuff here. Moved a lot with the movers, honestly. So most of the stuff will be coming with the movers, like my clothes and stuff. But I do have a bunch here now because um, I just wanted to like go through it and stuff. So a lot to do. Also, I forgot to say uh, that we stopped on the way home and voted. I just am signed up, like it's just the primaries, but I just get a text of where my polling place is and stuff. So if you're not registered to vote, register now. It was the primaries in a bunch of states, but definitely make sure you're registered obviously for the presidential election, but it's just as important to vote in your local elections. Just wanted to say that. On that note, I saw some recent comments that were like, Brooke, one way you could help is by providing um, more petitions, I guess, for Black Lives Matter stuff, which is incredibly important. And I I just want everyone to know that the conversation like doesn't stop like I've been getting some messages like you haven't posted enough or whatever I'm definitely doing a lot of work behind closed doors in terms of educating myself which I know is not enough but I have also been donating and everything I don't feel the need to every single time I donate post on social media I just am not that kind of person funding supporting black businesses is just something I'm trying to integrate into normal practice now so just so we know but I will link some petitions and important things down below that I have been signing and keeping up with. So yes, Black Lives Matter. Back at it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you too. I'm just leaving the UPS store. It is warm. Hi guys, it's the next day. I have just been running errands today and self-care, I guess. I got my nails done for the first time in forever, you guys. Very exciting. We socially distance and we wear masks. Honestly, every place I've been in, I have yet to see someone without a mask. I will say New York State, incredible with the mask in enforcement. Um, so we love that. And I got a Manny Petty. I feel really good. I just got regular gel, just like a pink color. Oh, I have a Bud Light Pride tattoo because they sent me a package. Um, <laughs> and then I just went to the UPS store and dropped off my mom and I's Rent the Runway. We both do it. Um, it's great because we, have, you know, you get new clothes all the time. I don't know, it's great. Love it. So I dropped off our Rent the Runways and then I mailed Mariah a package. I also mailed Maddie a package today too. When I cleaned out my apartment, I found a bunch of stuff that I intended to send to them, like gifts and things like that, that I just never did, um, that are long overdue, like for their birthdays and stuff. Well, I guess not Mariah's birthday, but Maddie's birthday, whatever. So I shipped them each just a package of goodies. I am now going to go to the pharmacy and pick up my birth control. Um, I got a text that my prescription's ready. They actually, it's really nice. They do it in three month supplies. So it's like I pick it up and then I get three packs, which is phenomenal. So I'm gonna go get that and then we'll go home. I have to work out, it's like two o'clock. Um, I feel like I've already done a good bit of stuff today. This is what happens when you wake up early. I'm gonna listen to Danielle's solo episode of Gals on the Go, so yay, woo. So it's been a little bit. I'm drinking Celsius, trying to hype me up for my workout. It's been a few days, so I'm like, uh. You guys, my mom rode on my bike this morning for the first time. I ordered her a pair of thin shoes because I was like, I just really want you to do this. And she really enjoyed it, but she said that afterwards, she couldn't even like remain on the bike for the stretch. She had to go off to the side and she was just sitting there laying flat on the ground for like five minutes because she was so exhausted. It was just funny. She was like, those spin workouts are no joke. I was like, yeah, welcome to the club. So I'm gonna go uh, work out but thank you guys so much for watching this video. My move out and the next is the move in. I think I'm actually really excited because I think I get to go to my apartment when it's empty before I move in, like a few days before I move in. We're gonna go and since it's only an hour drive away, we can go to the city park there and then measure like some stuff because I need to order a couch and things, but I don't want to order it without exact measurements and we get to see it empty because I've only seen it furnished because the current resident is still living there. So that's that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you all really soon. Bye.